Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Championship on the line. Oh, you're right about that. Let's get this thing going. Who's going to be the champion? I'd say that's more embarrassing than anything else. that someone the likes of Dean Ambrose would utilize a lethal maneuver like his Dirty Deeds finisher. Oh, it's awesome. Sin Cara turns the tide. <laughs> it is absolutely dizzying how fast Sin Cara is. Momentum is firmly on the side of Sin Cara. My God, his body's been through hell, and his ribs have bore the brunt of the attack. And I hope we can get a doctor out here as a precaution. Damaged ribs like that can make it hard to breathe. Oh, man, from the high rib district. I wouldn't know what that's like. Well, Michael, you mentioned Dean Ambrose and his Dirty Deeds finisher. It looks like a descendant of the DDT. When Ambrose nails an opponent with that, you can hear everyone in the arena gasp at the same time. That move's annihilating. Heads up! I mean, he whipped that one. Quick thinking to avoid that. Now, who does a methodical pace benefit, King? Well, I'll tell you, whenever the dominating Two. competitor takes his time, it gives everybody a chance to catch their breath. Three. Uh, going to the top, high risk. When you think of the time Dean Ambrose took to create his offensive armory, if you will, the Dirty Deeds is a finisher that reflects Ambrose entering offensive philosophy. Fast, lethal, and out of nowhere. Oh, Cole. You name them, and there's a really good chance they felt the force of the Dirty Deeds finishing move, courtesy of Dean Ambrose. One. Two. The championship hangs Three. in the balance. <laughs> and it could fall at any moment. This is a great matchup, Cole. Who's going to win this championship? These superstars looking for a victory, looking to build Six. momentum. You're right about that. Momentum is so important in a match like this. Really pushing his Seven. opponent to the limit here. Sin Cara is scaling the ropes. You know, I've been in this business a long time, and I'll admit, I've never seen anyone quite as, well, unusual as Dean Ambrose. Ambrose is eccentric, but in that ring, he is focused on destroying his opponent and making sure that opponent, whoever they are, remembers the beating that they're receiving at his hands. Three. Look at how Sin Cara electrifies WWE. Dean Ambrose is not someone to sleep on. Remember, in championship matches, the title cannot change hands by countout or disqualification. End of story. This one's over. Look how slow he is to recover here. That was some serious punishment. This might not end well. And Sin Cara nails it. His shoulders are down. I think the statement holds. There's your winner, ladies and gentlemen.
Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one. We got a couple of highlights here. Let's check them out. Here are your winners and new Extreme Classic All-Star Hardcore Impact Internet Champion, C. Gata. And he gets the job done here tonight. That was simply a case of one guy determined to prove his dominance over another. Thank you for tuning in tonight, folks. We hope you enjoyed that great match.